starting with tier 1, we got the Hope loading screen. We got the Rat-A-Cat back playing a egg-shaped cat, pretty interesting. 100 V-Bucks. We got the Secret Skimitar uh, pickaxe, looks like it's a dual wield. It's uh, pretty cool, it's like a claw-shaped pickaxe, I like that. Got a banner icon of a cat. We got the Rat-A-Cat Roamer glider. That's a cool little meow noise it makes. Uh, cool glider, I like that. We got the Ratty Grim Emoticon. Oh god, that's actually kind of creepy. The I'm a Mystery Evo. And I'm not even gonna lie, that music hits hard. That, that's good. Is there an actual music track? I hope that's a music track. Then we have the Hope Skin. Uh, it's an alright one, in my opinion. We got the blue hair, a little bit of hint of like green sign up there. Got the like weird zipper jacket thing I think and a little skirt uh overall it's an okay skin um not one of my favorites but a unique one nonetheless we have the underground to the hope loading screen where they are definitely underground searching for peely hopefully you find them we got the hopes look spray 100 v bucks the style the chick red a cat rover style I like the style actually the white and the pink that actually it's a cool style, I like that, I won't lie. And then I have a music pack I'm gonna play for you now. We have the Chick Raticat back bling again, but with the pink and white style. And honestly, I think I like the pink and white style better, I'm not gonna lie. And then obviously the style for her, and yeah, I, I like the pink and white style a lot better. I mean, pops more. I, I, it's vis to me, it's more visually appealing, I guess. Um, but I like the little, like, cat, beanie cat. That's beanie cat. Beanie hat. That's pretty cool. Got some headphones. Uh, looks like she broke off the microphone on the side or something. That's interesting. Uh, but overall, not a bad skin with the pink and white style. We have the Oscar loading screen. The Victory Brawl wrap. It's just a tiger wrap uh, with some other little details. Some black and gold on the end of it. Uh, not a bad rat. Got 100 V Bucks. Got a banner icon. The Sky Scratch Contrail. Uh, you got the Tiger Claws. And I'm assuming you are basically scratching the skies you go down. It's very interesting. I like it though. The Poacher's Regrets Pickaxe. I actually really like the name for that. That's pretty cool. And it has the symbol for, I believe they're called the Society or something. So I'm assuming he's one of the bad guys, maybe. I'm not quite sure. But it's pretty cool, it has, you know, the tiger stripes on there. And then you got the black and gold, which is always a great color combo. Then we have Oscar himself, which includes the Lego style, which is pretty cool that now we have Lego styles for all the Battle Pass skins, so that's awesome. But he's a pretty cool skin, like very detailed. Uh, obviously you can see his belt, he's got the Society logo, he's got his pickaxes on the side. A uh, knife on the back or something. Uh, I like the big logo actually on the back of this vest. That's pretty cool. Uh, I guess this is our meme skin? I'm not really sure, but it's a really cool skin. Very detailed nonetheless. We have the champion Oscar loading screen. And then we have a music pack I'm going to play for you now. Here we have the claw box back bling, which <laughs> is cool as like the shape of a tiger. And you obviously have the pickaxes there, so that's actually really clever. I like that. I like that a lot. We have the claw through emoticon, clawing through everything. Got 100 V-Bucks. The Victory Vaunter Glider. Now this is by far the coolest battle pass glider I've seen in a long time. Like, it's a... I mean, not really a flying car, I guess. I mean, I guess you could say that, but look how detailed it is. And I love the black and red. It's great. I'd love to see this as a car you could use in the rocket racing mode. That'd be pretty cool. But really cool glider. We have the champion Oscar style. Um, it's basically him, but as a white tiger. So, And you also got the white and gold. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I think I kind of like the first style better. But it is very cool, very detailed. A uh, great job as usual effort. We have the Vengeance Jones loading screen. The missing Peely spray. The Legends mod kit. Look, they're finally calling him the Legend. Look at that. And that's actually a really cool uh, backlink. I won't even lie. It's like his 
Well, what's this mod kit like it says? It's got his weapons, you got his pistol, his knife, some ammo, a uh, grenade, smoke bomb. Pretty cool. The Legends Retribution Wrap. Uh, it's a pretty basic one. You got some green and like a tan and some yellow and red. Uh, you know, it can go okay with a few skins, but it's not bad. We have the Takedown Pickaxe. Uh, pretty cool pickaxe. It's a single wheel pickaxe. You got a big like knife up there. That's your actual pickaxe part. A uh, big red handle with some black, and I'm assuming that's like the Resistance logo, whatever they call themselves. Pretty cool. The Underfrown Emoticon. That's sad. We have the Vengeance Jones skin, which is an awesome skin. I'm loving Jones with the shades. They look great. It's all messy hair. You got the dog tags. You got some pins. His big trench coat. Uh, showing that he's part of the Resistance, leading the way to find Peely. It's a very interesting storyline, but you know, it's a cool one nonetheless. Uh, we got Duo Tone Jones loading screen, just showing him ready to go in there, I'm assuming. I have a banner icon, 100 V-Bucks, the Art of Revenge con trail. Um, it looks like someone barfed up a rainbow, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, the Legend Legends Duo Tone mod kit style. Uh, I really like how that pops out. That's really cool. And I just realized the cool like wand and poster on the side. That's especially cool how he like taped it on there. Uh, but I really like the Duo Tone style. We have the Jones Underground spray, no Jones, and the Duo Tone style for Jones. Um, it's definitely very unique. You can see it. It just everything pops out at you more. Like I can't tell which style I actually like more. I like them both equally, but I might give this one a slight edge just for how cool everything pops out at you. Here we have the Nisha loading screen. Her gliding down, going in to infiltrate Peter Griffin. I can't believe I just said that. Literally dropping on Peter Griffin in Fortnite. Who would have thought? The Society Shield back bling. Uh, okay, so it is the Society, I was right. That's pretty cool, uh, some white and gold, obviously, and Society must be like a secret Illuminati group, I'm assuming, it kind of looks like that. We have a banner icon, the High Society glider, it's just a souped up default glider, but it actually looks really clean, like, I won't lie, the white and gold, obviously, uh, you got their logo up top there, um, yeah, it's just a default glider, but it's real nice, I think they did a good job with it, making it look clean. Got the Foil Flex emote. She's a sword fighter, pretty cool emote. Got the Duelist Foil Pickaxe, which is, you know, the pickaxe you use in sword fighting. And I'll admit, like, it's it's like a simple little pickaxe, but it's actually really cool and I really like this one. Then we have Nisha herself, all in the sword fighting gear. Got the gold mask and the all white outfit with, you know, the gold buckles and pins. And obviously, this is her no mask style, so uh, she's got a nose ring if you didn't notice that. That's pretty cool, and I like how she's holding her sword on her side, so I'm assuming when you equip the pickaxe and you use it, it'll take the sword off her side. So that's pretty cool. We have the Midnight Duelist Nisha loading screen. Oh, look, there's Peely. They must have found Peely at one point. We have the Sunrise Duel Wrap, um, the pink and the gold, not really sure how that goes together, but it's not a bad wrap. Got 100 V-Bucks, got the Midnight Society Shield, it's a black and gold style of it. Of course, I like white and gold, but you can't go wrong with black and gold. Uh, the style for the glider, the black and gold. Um, I'm not going to lie with the glider, I think I like the white and gold one better, but this is still really clean. Uh, the logo is actually on top if you didn't notice it move. We have the Rip Post Ready Spray, the Midnight Duelist Nisha style, a uh, different mask that's what kind of takes the bottom half of her face, and then she's now wearing a black outfit, still with some gold buckles and her society pin. Personally, I like the white style better for her, but regardless, even if you wear the white or black style, both of them are really clean, you can't go wrong with the skin. Then we have the Montague a loading screen running out of the mansion there the diamond claw picker uh that's a very big diamond i uh, can only imagine how much money that's worth and a uh, very thin like handle for the pickaxe oh, it's an interesting one but i really like it it's unique the heart cut emoticon the unbreakable wrap uh this is a clean one for sure it's like a dark green i kind of want to say maybe a dark gray uh, with like a little bit of a pattern on it, so this would go really well with some stealth skins. Got 100 V-Bucks, the carbon fiber holster, 
Uh, and you got the diamond beam, obviously, you got some diamonds on the guns there. And a big diamond on the middle of that, and then some gold and black. Very clean. And then we have Montag himself. He's wearing a big diamond there, I'm assuming. He's got a clean jacket. He's obviously a member of the society. He is the society for all we know. Uh, got some white hair up front, but, you know, a nice little clean cut there. Uh, I have no idea if he's the leader or not. Looks like he got scratched on his uh, right eye over there, so that's interesting. And then we got the brilliant cut Montauk uh, loading screen. I have no idea if I'm saying that right. Hopefully I am. The Jesus Montauk spray. The encrusted contra. You got a big diamond in the middle and the sparkling shines of it uh, flowing off your hands. Uh, I don't really know if I like the big diamond in the middle there, but it's a cool contra. Oh, and it breaks when you're uh, not actually like falling. That's pretty cool. I like that now. The diamond throne emo. I like that, that's pretty cool, it's like, I'm expecting you, uh, that's pretty cool, and it's all diamond, I can only assume that's not very comfortable. We got the Grand Glacier Glider, of course still following the diamond theme, got his little, like, style there, uh, some gold and yellow contrail there, and then a mixture of the blue, it's pretty cool, about 100 V-Bucks. Then we have the brilliant cut Montag style. Um, I'm gonna be real with you, like, if you're trying to be stealthy, this is probably not the skin to wear, but if we're going purely off cosmetic look, uh, this skin looks awesome. Like, holy crap, look at all the, look, look at all the reflection everywhere, and his eye, like, the little, the little twinkle in his eyes from the diamond, that's so cool. That's an awesome skin. You could probably pretend to be a statue in the eyes biome with him. Then you have the Welcome to the Underground loading screen, the, uh, you know, the art for this season. And then we have the Pinata Brian <laughs> back bling. It's a mixture of a llama with Brian from Family Guy. Gotta love Brian. The Peter Vision spray. That's awesome. The Scratcher pickaxe. I'm assuming this is something they use in Family Guy. I've never watched Family Guy. I probably should. I've watched a few episodes, but not like, you know the full series and stuff, but that's pretty cool. That, that'd go well with a lot of skins, actually. We got the Wacky Wavers Contrail. I am passing the savings on to you. That's actually a really cool one. We have the Rabbit Ears Wrap. Um, not really sure. I mean, I, I guess it's for the TV, I'm assuming. Uh, it's an all right wrap. And we have Peter Griffin himself right here, but he's buff Peter Griffin. And uh, if you haven't watched the little short, on the Fortnite YouTube channel, you definitely need to check that out. I'll link it below because it's very interesting and it explains how he got buffed like this. But I mean, Peter Griffin alone makes this battle pass totally worth it. Here we have the Valeria loading screen. Uh, she's got flames everywhere, don't mess with her. Got the, the flame wrap, here you go. This is a cool wrap, I like it. It's animated too at the bottom there, as you can see. You got the white flames and some red flames. This can go well with a lot of skin combos, so it's a great wrap. The Burning Heart Emoticon, uh, the heart burning. Got 100 V-Bucks. Got the Ruby Relic back bling. Uh, got some black and red, and she's got like her claw grip around it, I'm assuming. It's interesting. That's really cool. It's a clean back bling. The Burn Down Contrail, a nice red flame contrail. If you got some red or black, black and red skins, uh, you could definitely use this to make a cool combo. Then we have Valeria. This is a cool skin now. I like this. Even her little bullets are red on the side. She's got a golden red gun. Her uh, legs, if you don't, if you look at that on her pants, if you got red flames down there. And her hair is a bright flamey red. Got the white and red shades. And just a cool fur white and red flame jacket. Like, th this is a great skin. They did a great job with that. I mean, I can't complain. Here we have the Society vs. Underground loading screen. This is the actual key art for Battle Royale this season, so that's cool. The Society Spray, 100 V-Bucks. And new to this, because of the Rocket Racing mode, we got some new car bodies uh, in the Battle Pass, which is interesting. We got Scorpion. Uh, I don't know if this is supposed to be based on a car in real life. I'm not sure what it is based off of, but nonetheless, very clean looking car, and I'd love to see this in the color red, or maybe even a black would be cool. I don't know, this would go well with a lot of different colors. 
then we have the stripes of I guess decal if you want to put it yeah the decal for it the llama matic decal for it that's uh you know you got the llama on the side that's pretty cool and oh and then you have the society of decal for it now that's clean this car in black with the orange I don't know why they did it. Well, the orange looks good. I don't know why they did it orange, but they used to be the gold. But, and you got the carbon fiber there, too. This is a clean style. Definitely going to be rocking that. In our final page, we have the burning ambition Valeria loading screen. She is ready to find Jones and make sure they don't find Peely. The bra uh, another banner icon is supposed to be like a phoenix, I'm assuming. We have the burn wrap, uh, a style for it, I think, or maybe it's a different one. Basically the same one we saw earlier, but black and red the valeria blaze spray the ember pickaxe now this is cool it's like a raven with red eyes flames all over the head black and gold handle very very clean pickaxe can't wait to have that and here's the music pack i'm gonna play for you now and then we have the ever burn emote built-in emote which changes her style to the black and red it changes her hairstyle too as you can see that's pretty cool uh the gun is now just a golden brown her whole fur coat is black her bullets stay red but that's a really cool built-in emote you can go back and forth between the styles so what do you guys think of this battle pass if i had to rate it uh honestly peter griffin alone makes this like i'd say a solid eight out of ten uh, I like having some rocket racing cars in it, so it'll help me build my garage until my rocket league cars get over 